Okay, so before we get our ghost's power pellets working, uh, we actually need to set up our Pac-Man animation for when we die. So what we're going to do is create a new animation. Uh, just make sure you select Pac-Man sprite and then moving left or moving up or start animation should come up. We're going to create a new clip. We're going to navigate to our animations folder and we're just going to type in death. So the start of this animation, we are going to have um, our left animation there. Then we're going to go to about 7 and then 14 and then 21. And essentially what we're going to do is make Pac-Man spin around. So if we click this little record button, um, which don't do that yet, but if you're on a specific one of these little diamond things and you click the record button, you can actually change Pac-Man's shape during this portion of the animation. So for example, if I select here and then click record, and then I change our rotation in the Z to be negative 180, and then I stop recording, if we drag over to 180 you can see we are turning around and then if we click play it's going to keep doing that so that's good uh, we're going to do the exact same thing on this next one but we're going to make it negative 270 then we're going to go to negative 360 and that should give us a full circle all right so now that we have our circle we're going to click the first one hold shift click the next one and then we're going to paste it seven seconds ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And now what we want to do is keep incrementing this by 90, negative 90 degrees. So we're going to click record. Um, and on our fifth one, we're going to set it to negative 450 and we're going to keep going negative 540 negative 630 negative 710 is this right 720 360 450 540. Oh, this should be 630. And then 720. And then we're going to do negative 810. And then negative 900. Negative 990. And negative 1080 then turn off the recording and hit play. So as you can see, we are moving in a circle multiple times. So that's really good. Then what we're gonna do is click record and go to our last one. And we wanna set the scale to be 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Stop recording and you'll notice that we're getting smaller. So that's good. And then we want to have like a little explosion effect. So that's what this is. So we're just going to set this a little bit ahead. Or actually we can set it immediately after our last one. And record and set our scale back to 1. So now you'll notice that it immediately jumps back from our explosion to the beginning of the animation. All we have to do is highlight this and then copy it and paste it over here. Um, and maybe make it a little farther. Okay, so that's a pretty good death animation. So we're just going to save that. And let's go to our animator. And we want to go from moving left, we want to be able to transition 
into our death animation based on if and we're going to create another variable we're going to make a boolean dead so if dead is true and moving is false then we're going to transition remove the exit time uh, set everything to zero and then do the exact same thing for this set the conditions if moving is false and dead is true and then we want to go back from death into our start animation unselect all this if dead becomes false okay so basically the logic here is if we're moving and then we die uh, go into our death animation once we're done our death animation go back into our start animation so what is going to happen now i'm curious actually do we 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 did set it in our enemy control or our player in our death function we set dead to true what we're going to need to do now is in setup we're going to need to set dead to false and we're also setting moving to false so that it will play our start animation now let's see how all of this works by running the game so ideally it pauses for a second and then runs our animation okay it's not actually running the animation at all so that is not good oh I think I actually know what's happening so if we go back to our game manager and go to player eaten I believe yeah yeah I forgot to do this so we called stop game which halted our animator and then we called death so what we're going to do is make sure that when we play our death animation we set our animator speed back to one and then if we go that actually might be it because we won't set anything else back to true although okay so one thing I'm worried about right now is we die and it might automatically put our sprite there but let's just check so when we die and disappear it might immediately revert back to our other animation oh it's not even playing it at all still okay so it's not going into our death animation for some reason let's see oh it's because we're going into our start animation when moving is false we need to go into our start animation when moving is false and dead is false let's try that okay yeah and you can see that it is going to do it again just as I was worried about so the problem we're running into is for some reason the animation is repeating so I'm just gonna go onto Google for a second type in unity stop animation from looping this is basically how I figure out anything by the way is just through Google um, select animation in the project tab open inspector tab uncheck the checkbox loop time open animation in the project tab open the inspector tab yes oh we have to okay so we're going to click our pac-man sprite open death and okay i thought this is where it would be in the inspector but it doesn't seem to be what's going on oh we have to select it in our project folder okay so go to animations and then go to death and then loop time and again i could have cut all that but it's important to show sometimes how i figure things out on my own it's basically just knowing how to use Google efficiently. Let's see if this works. So, 
So it did work, but after it plays the animation, I want um, to disappear. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this last explosion and we're going to copy it to over here. So we have to click record and then set scale to zero and then click record. Okay, and as you can see too, um, I didn't bring this up before, the pellets did not respond and the score did not change or anything like that. So let's test something. Um, pellets collected on this life. Once they reach 12 and 30, they spawn orange and blue because we've died before. So that's great. So now that's working completely.